This is Doggos. It's a brand new shoot 'em up hitting the PlayStation 4 on September 6th, and both Steam and Xbox One on September 7th. Although it's still a few weeks out, we're gonna take a look at the beta build that includes three stages and a boss. I know you have a lot of questions, so let's crib this. Hey, this looks like Project Root. That's not really a question, but yes, it does look like Project Root. Actually, there's a good reason for that, and it's because both games are made by the same Argentinian developer, Opquam. Although it doesn't appear to be a direct sequel, Doggos does use a lot of the mechanics found in Project Root. This is still a mix of Xevious and Electronic Arts Classic Strike series, where players fly through wide open levels filled with aliens on both the ground and in the air. We're able to explore the stages at our own pace, flying and rotating our little craft in any direction. This frees you up to finding the right path and completing the various objectives. If you can do all that, then you're off to the next stage to complete a new set of missions. Project Root was a flawed game. Is this any better? Based on the three stages I played, the answer is a resounding yes. For one thing, Doggos isn't as punishing as Project Root. A lot of people complained about Project Root's lengthy stages, normally without any checkpoints. The stages I play in this game are much shorter and appear to have convenient checkpoints. Whereas a stage took 20 or 30 minutes before, I was zipping through most of these stages in less than 10 minutes. I also found that the stages themselves are more forgiving than what we saw in Project Root. It was common to fly into an unexplored area, only to be swarmed by bad guys and quickly killed. That didn't happen in Doggos, as it always felt like I was able to find a way out of an ambush. Perhaps this has something to do with the lack of a leveling up system. Project Root had me putting experience points into ship and armor upgrades, making your craft more capable of taking on swarms of enemies. But I didn't see any of that in this beta. My ship was as strong as it needed to be to take out any of the enemies the game threw at me. I still unlocked new weapons and skins, but the whole grinding for levels loop seems to be excised from this follow-up. What does doggos mean, anyway? It's Spanish for bulldogs, but that's not really all that important. Let's talk about how the game shifts from standard exploration to these exciting shoot 'em up stages where you're pushed through valleys and caves. These bits push the camera in and change the perspective enough to make it feel like a different game. This happened in two of the three stages I played, so I'm hoping the developers find creative uses for this mechanic. Thanks to my experience with Project Root, I went into this concerned it was going to be more of the same. And while it does feature a lot of the same ideas, this beta build of Doggos is a real improvement in almost every way. It not only looks better, but the levels are shorter and it's easier to navigate. Opquam has clearly taken the criticism to heart and it seems to have benefited their newest shooter. I'm eager to see what they come up with, and we'll have a full review up in early September. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. This is one of those weeks where I'm doubling up on the videos because I've just too many games to talk about. I already reviewed Winter Novel and redecked them, and I'll be posting a review of Reptilian Rebellion later today. We're also gearing up for a look at what critics thought of the Super NES launch back in 1991. Which game do they like the most? You'll find out soon enough. I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.